Auto 060. Eh, bueno, estuvimos esta semana aquí en Miami Beach en una presentación de la nueva Acura NDS 2014, la nueva SUV de la división de lujo de la Honda, que ha sido completamente rediseñada para este 2014. Eh, una de las grandes cosas que tiene es que le han quitado 275 libras de peso a toda la estructura, a todo el vehículo en general. Con lo cual, eh, no solamente se hace más eficiente, sino que también da una experiencia de manejo mucho más, a, más divertida, más atractiva, más ligera. Y eh, además, como siempre en Acura, una gran cantidad de tecnología de punta que le permite le va a permitir competir mucho mejor contra vehículos muy buenos como BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Infinity eh, y Lexus. Así que bueno, escuchemos la primera entrevista eh, que vamos a hablar con el ingeniero principal de la Acura NDX 2014. Aquí va la entrevista. Here we're talking about the new Acura MDX uh, 2014 and a completely new vehicle, huh? It's completely new, from bumper to bumper. Yeah, not only bumper to bumper, from the bottom up too. Like yeah. the, the whole chassis is uh, different. Yeah, for the first time, the, the MDX is built on an entirely new platform, with it being the lead vehicle. Yeah, and uh, also, I mean, Acura has been known for a lot of uh, great technology, but this car has like amazing things, and uh, that other manufacturers have but some others that I've never seen anywhere for example one thing that might surprise you that caught my attention the ventilation for the seat is connected to the AC here for Miami it's a great thing oh no, yes I it, it is a I think it's going to be a very good feature for our customers we have automatic features for lots of things we thought why not do this with the seats can we have this because of both seats and the air conditioning are trying to keep you comfortable But typically, there are two systems that don't talk to each other. So yeah. we said, why not let them talk to each other to keep you in perfect comfort? Yeah, and that kind of thinking in engineering goes uh, to the drivetrain, to the vectoring system and all that. So, I mean, it's more or less the same concept. Yes, yes. So we try to make this a very smart, highly intelligent vehicle. And we think our customers are smart and intelligent and will appreciate the features we put on this vehicle. Another thing that caught my attention... 49 to 9, can you talk about that? <laughs> well, we tried, to, we, we, we tried to make sure the vehicle is still a great value for our customers, so the price point is very similar. No, I'm talking it. about 49 buttons on that control, oh, still 9. <laughs> I thought you said 40, I thought you said 42. Okay. Uh, actually, we, you know, we have a lot of technology in cars these days, and uh, Acura has always been a leader of applying technology, but with the technology, a lot of times comes a little bit of button clutter. We yeah. have a lot of buttons in the center of the car, and it makes it difficult to, to use while you're driving. So did I get the number right? It's 49 to 2 or 40, 40? 41 to 9, oh, I think is the number we're using. Yeah. Again. It, it's amazing because, again, like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do in the car now, uh, but it takes a while to learn. Yeah, it's much easier to use those kinds of electronics, you know, if you're using a handheld or something yeah. while you're stationary, but we have to think that you're moving on the highway 70 miles per hour exactly. trying to navigate through the electronics. So we and, make efforts to try to make it simple. And actually, the, the initial quality study from JD Power and Associates uh, called uh, most of the customers complain about learning to use the systems. Not that the car didn't work, right. but they couldn't make it work because it was too difficult. And we've tried to make that much easier with the new car, first by simplifying the controls, but also helping with the menus and so forth with the vehicle as well to make it uh, easier for customers to understand. Yeah, uh, another great thing, uh, 275 pounds of the weight of the car. Big effort to reduce weight. 275 pounds is a lot of weight, and it came from multiple areas of the car. Everybody on this working on this vehicle was focused on weight reduction, but we were able to take it out without greatly increasing the cost of the vehicle or compromising safety. For example, this vehicle is much stronger than the previous vehicle, even though it's lighter. Yeah, talking about stronger, the new um, IIHS uh, testing with the offset uh, impact. Yes. You, are, you already did your test, I bet. Right? Well, we, you know, the Honda, we always uh, have a very high regard for putting safety into our vehicles. And we've been studying, of course, the different types of crashes. And we have a very good relationship with the IIHS. So we've anticipated some movement for a while now along these lines with this new test. But this test is very, very challenging. It requires you to think up front from the beginning and yeah. design a car in a different way to, to really do well with this. 
And uh, we were able to do that from the beginning with this new MDX and do it without adding a lot of weight to the vehicle as well. Yeah, and um, not many cars do well in that test because it's, it's very, well, so, very... So far, the Insurance Institute has only tested the small SUVs. They've not worked yeah. their way up to the heavier vehicles. And we anticipate that a lot of the vehicles of this, uh, the MDX size will struggle when they actually are tested. Uh, but we anticipate getting a, a very, very good rating with the uh, IHS uh, when they do test the car. Yeah, and uh, we can keep talking about the, the great features in the car for a long time, but we don't have that much. But another thing that is it's pretty cool, the new lights, oh. the lights, the lighting of the sun, the light that comes out of the light is more similar to the sunlight. That's, That's pretty right. amazing. That's right. With, with the LED lighting technology, you can get the light color to match uh, that of the sun. And of course, your eyes work best in sunlight. That's how you know we are as humans. That's, a, that's yeah. the, the light that we respond best to. And that's a great feeling, uh, a great feature you get with these headlights. So not only can you see better, but it feels better. Uh, to well, you, you, you can see at, what, 75 feet further? 75 feet further. But the nice thing about the light is that because it's so white and because it matches the daytime, you can see more vivid features of the road and also the colors at nighttime will appear more as they do in daytime. So the blues yeah. will be more blue and the greens will be more green. So it kind of helps you not only in uh, normal driving conditions, but even in fog and, and rain, we expect these headlights to give you much better safety. Yeah. Thank you very much for the time and congratulations oh, on the car. And you know, here in Miami, MDX has a, not a very good name because MDX is Miami Dade Express um, Authority, the people who charge for the tolls. Oh, <laughs> well, I hope so, you don't uh, think about tolls when you're exactly. No, I, I thought I, it would be cool if you come to work with you oh. for a while and fix a lot of things. I wonder, do they have a little sticker or something? This is the MDX. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Maybe you, you can do a lot of improvements like you did with the MDX. Well, it's, <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you and thank you so much for coming out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you es que está totalmente rediseñada desde la plataforma que es absolutamente nueva hasta cosas como lo que nos mencionaba de los asientos que ahora van conectados al sistema de aire acondicionado para hacer una, 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 una experiencia mucho más cómoda cuando se está manejando y después de esto vamos a escuchar ahora cómo es que la van a publicitar cómo es que esta campaña de publicidad de la nava Acura 2014 que tiene como decíamos una competencia muy feroz con Mercedes Benz con la Infinity, con el BMW y, y un segmento que siempre es muy competido, el segmento de lujo de las SUVs medianas. Así que ahora escuchemos la entrevista sobre la campaña de publicidad y las cosas que vienen nuevas sobre la Acura 2014. And now we're here with Jan Moore talking about the other aspect of the new MDX, the advertising campaign. Very aggressive, very different. Yes, um, we're going in a different direction with MDX advertising this time. Uh, it's much more evocative. We're showing a lot more emotion than we had in sort of previous campaigns, and it's very appropriate because luxury purchases are emotional purchases. Yeah. And, and we're showing that emotion that's always been there with MDX. The MDX has a great following, and people are emotional about their MDXs, and we're just acknowledging that in our, our new campaigns. Yeah, and uh, of course you have a, a, a lot of good competition in this segment, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, uh, Infinity. Yes. So um, it's important, like, the message be communicated to the consumer, right? Yes, yes. It's very important that customers understand that this vehicle was made for them. It was made around them with customer in mind, and all of our decisions really centered about around what customers wanted, what they asked us for, and, and how could we improve the experience that they had inside the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in the development of the car, you you said you know, that you talk out to a lot of the consumers that have that, that, uh, what is it, the second generation, so this is the third one. Uh, and a lot of improvement there, and a lot of uh, things that are, people are going to be satisfied with. It's like the pricing. The pricing hasn't done much that, that much, really. Not that much, actually. With the two-wheel drive variant, we're able to offer an MDX at almost $1,000 lower starting price than we had before. So now you can get into an MDX much more affordably than you could before. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the advertising campaign that is going on? What's, what's going to involve? Um, Right now we're showing uh, MDX sort of made for mankind. We're showing um, all of the ways that MDX was sort of made with humans in mind, that, that man-machine interface, that this is a vehicle that's intuitive, this is a vehicle that you'll sit inside and absolutely fall in love with. Yeah. And, and we want people to fall in love with the MDX all over again. Two generations, they've 
they're in love, we want them to fall in love all over again. Yeah, another great thing about Discover made in the USA, right? Yes, this is the first time, uh, actually it started from development, this is all American team and we're making the MDX, we mo moved it from our plants in Canada to our plant in Alabama. Yeah, well thank you very much for the time and uh, for all this great information about this great new vehicle. Cool, thank you, thank, thank you for having you. us. Pues ahí tiene toda la información acerca de la nueva SUV Acura MDX, en la división de lujo de la Honda que se ha caracterizado siempre por eh, mucha tecnología, un diseño para algunos eh, eh, un poco agresivo, que ahora está mucho más refinado por fuera, por dentro, eh, tecnología muy, muy uh, aparentemente sencilla, que mucha gente quizás podría haber pensado que este tipo de cosas se podían haber planeado hace tiempo, como por ejemplo esa conexión que ahora existe entre el aire acondicionado y los asientos que están uh, ventilados, para que mantengan la misma temperatura, eh, no solamente en la cabina, pero en el asiento. A veces la temperatura del asiento está, digamos, en 40, está congelando el trasero, para decirlo de otra forma, y eh, el aire acondicionado está en 70, así que ahora eh, este tipo de cosas tan simples que aparentemente eh, uno pensaría que hace tiempo se podrían haber implementado, ahora están en la nueva eh, SUV Acura MDX 2014, que sale a la venta, ya salió a la venta este mes de junio, y como decíamos, saldrá para competir con la Mercedes ML, con la eh, BMW X3, X, X5, perdón, eh, y ustedes y una serie de otros modelos que son muy populares acá en Estados Unidos, y ese segmento de SUVs de lujos está eh, simplemente con eh, una gran cantidad de opciones para todos los consumidores. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 vamos a viajar hasta Detroit, a la al centro de pruebas y desarrollo e investigación de Ford Motor Company para probar algunos de sus nuevos modelos para el 2014. Esto es Auto 060 y yo soy Javier Mota.